The Crypto Sniper, Ethereum US Dollar, 15 minute. Just got triggered by um, the continuation or the symmetrical triangles as reversal and continuation patterns brigade. Um, and they are the same brigade that talk of head and shoulders being both continuation and reversal patterns, um, which is complete nonsense. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted this involves a bit of reversal and continuation. We've been watching Ethereum. We wanted to see is it for real? Is it back? It was quite impulsive uh, when it rallied here. This was an imperfect double bottom. That was its W top stroke neckline. It made target there then wound out and broke uh, up a little higher after winding up on another neckline which would have been a inverted head and shoulders these are only reversal patterns to the upside they are not continuation patterns regardless what certain technical analysts that have bastardized Dow theory will tell you um, so don't get sucked into that thinking it's a reversal pattern if it's an inverted head and shoulders to the upside um, so that would have been the, the neckline for that that would have implied a target up there but we had too many targets um, coming in here a lot of funnels from previous time frames look at my earlier clips um, on Ethereum and seeing all the, the setups on the way down as to why we were so clustered at 124 um, against Bitcoin and effectively the 300s, 310s levels against the dollar so this turned into a left shoulder potential after we made a flat top head that broke down that up leg was the final impulsive leg to the upside we had a longer dip to the downside there's your potential head and sh uh, shoulders neckline um, we had a rally that wanted to go up there since then it's been in a dark place in terms of it's a grind line that it's been selling off on it has just triggered this level in other words it's triggered the round number which we've called 290 um, the law of round numbers which was just dipped through there on the left shoulder was dipped through here on the right um, and has now been traded through uh, here we could expect that grind line to have a wee rally through it before possibly selling off and then potentially making a downside target to these levels over here which would bring you back to the neckline of the double bottom that we identified um, so there's a reversal here we got out at the 124s to Bitcoin so this is the chart SUSD we got out at the 124s over here on Bitcoin so that was the Ethereum Bitcoin so let's get that chart up So this was the chart for the Ethereum Bitcoin. Similar W neckline. There's that funnel I was talking about. Here's the 124s that we got out on. That was your inverted head and shoulders takeout, um, which targeted all the way along here. Look at that previous downside second interim perfect level. That charged from down here. This was your double bottom in the funnel. This was a very clean double bottom and very similar uh, lows. And that that distance projected up gave us the final highest target of the 124 fires, which was fortunate enough to get us out very close to the top. Overnight, it sold off quite hard. Um, if we drop it down to the 15-minute chart, you get a bit more detail. You can see there was in a bit of a grind line here, which invariably begs to be broken. Very low slung little dip there um, after trying to go higher and higher. This was your final blow up high. And this too has the uh, head and shoulders structure on it. I would once again look at the logical low of 15, 11, 5. There she blows. I haven't drawn it perfectly uh, horizontal. And that risks Ethereum having a drawdown again against Bitcoin. So we are largely in Bitcoin and have been since 124.5s which is over here which was taken out on that final high this uh, target if made to the downside 
not saying it, it shall and it would be. It's a threat. That's all we say. It's a probability, possibility. It's slightly higher probability than normal reversals, uh, than, than a reversal occurring in a normal environment. It's slightly more suggestive of a possible rev reversal. That's all we're saying. So that chance is just higher in probability. That doesn't mean it has to make that target um, just because it's created the pattern. And even if it triggers it, it doesn't mean it has to make that. Patterns can fail, but w it just becomes a higher probability potentially. Where does that level bring you to? Well, it brings you down to 10.35, which is very much just through the neckline of this uh, W bottom. That would be quite a bearish event um, for Ethereum against Bitcoin, and for those wanting to see slightly bigger time frame this rally to this level here is not sufficiently bullish it was strong but if we were to come all the way back down here that would make this quite a small impulse and that would make this very high risk that this potentially has left shoulder potential this whole area uh, ahead and this a uh, 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 right a volatile right shoulder rally down if it comes all the way back down to the funnel level here you would have had the funnel be significant on the way up and again on the way down you wouldn't want that for Ethereum and you wouldn't want it for the other altcoins. It's just bearish for altcoins generally um, and bullish for Bitcoin. I also did throw in the dollar index in all of this. This has been selling off really hard to the downside, but it's now reached upside funnel levels and it is making head and shoulders targets as well. So quite a bit about head and shoulders today. Um, and this making head and shoulders targets and selling off that hard should be more supportive for the cryptos. So there's quite a bit of um, fear out there. The dollar starts rallying. Um, we've already seen silver looking pretty set up to sell off um, to the downside uh, on s on quite big time frame charts. Um, there's your daily. I'll just expand that a little bit to remind you of that. Um, so a lot of the anti-dollar are looking quite weak, which could imply after this dollar index runoff, we could get a bit of a bounce. The dollar index is falling because both the pound and the euro have been strong um, and the dollar's needed some respite uh, and is uh, pretty weak. Um, there is a flag possibility target that could even see it go a little lower here. So you may have a little bit more uh, downside, um, but Bitcoin is the safest uh, coin at the moment of the big coins. Yes, there'll be a few small caps that may be counter trend and running uh, crazy percentages but the chances that you land one of them and are in one of them are a little bit tough uh, and Bitcoin generally um, in these kind of markets is your defensive play so you get Bitcoin on zero most of these others are reds you want to try being and shares IOTA um, or BitConnect marginally you're going to lose a lot of liquidity you're going to have a lot of transaction costs you're going to chase the bid and ask spread up and down if you've got any kind of size for what to try be one of the one that sticks out out of a sea of red doesn't make sense to me coin market cap unless you are fundamentally informed and you're really up on gnosis for example and uh, you have a view that it's going to be counter trend strong in spite of uh, money going out of cryptos for example then good luck you might have got 26 percent but most of us um, will be in the red and that's that's the nature of the game so uh, my my uh, my take is Ethereum is looking weak, could be in a potential head and shoulders. Um, it's also looking weak generally. If it sells off here and triggers that and returns somewhere down these levels, it will probably end up trading lower. Yes, it'll probably have a reaction at the target and go back up again. We needed Ethereum to get up to these levels to uh, improve our chances of this all being a big continuation pattern. In other words, we needed this to happen that's what we needed um, and that requires a theorem up here preferably um, it could recover say it sold off a little bit and then recovered slowly and could get there okay if it squares out a little bit and stays up there for a while it could still be a nice continuation setup but any sell off getting into this lower area here sub the 10 fives you've got to worry that you're going to get your continuation actually be down to the downside and that would mean a sell um, so that's my take on ethereum 
This is Francis, uh, the market sniper, giving you your update on Ethereum and what it means for the other alts. Um, caution, caution, caution for now. Let's see how far this goes um, and we'll stay in touch. We want Ethereum ideally for the bull case to get, be close and approaching the 14s, ideally running that funnel out. That would be awesome if we could top out just there and just shy of that high. Um, that would give us a very strong signal for continuation to the upside. Um, <clears throat> and that's it. That's my take. I hope you enjoy it. Sleep well and uh, get in touch on themarketsniper.com if you'd like to talk about your trading needs and mentorship.